Thomas, Kenya, and Anne Durbin, a white American from Wichita, Kansas, but mainly English, Irish, and small amounts of German descent. His parents met in 1960 while to the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Manoa, where his father was a foreign student, and so he married in February 2, 1961. They separated when Obama was two years old and was divorced in 1964. Okay, that's what I was at. I just want to go through uh, that part. That, and see, 1960 also happens to be the end of the what? Age. It's, it's the end of this age. It's the end of the age, end of the age. And you're in the probationary period. This would be like to uh, Noah, when he told Noah, the end of all flesh is coming for me. And it was 120 years before the what? Flood. Before the flood came. But before the shower was done, that was the end. But it took 120 years for the physically he made what? Physically, for the physical manifestation of the water to come down. It had never rained before, but nevertheless, as far as y'all are concerned, it had already been predestined and, and, and it had already been set up. So, we, uh, uh, we begin uh, with this. Now, since we started off with this, I just want to start off with it. We got the uh, disciples. I want to show forth that, uh, that uh, as we showed you before, that in 1960, since 1960, uh, 1960 is the end of the age. Age, 1960 is the end. Then we know by the cycles, seven times seven is what? 49. We got a Jubilee coming up. That's 2001. 2009 plus one, the 50 year be 21. 2010. So you got the 49th year and you got the what? 50th year. So you got the 49th year. So, so you got the end of a cycle. So what you have now, this is Jubilee, principle of Jubilee. Somebody get the uh, 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 what is Isaiah 46, 9 and 10, and give me Deuteronomy, the sub chapter, the what you call it, the Leviticus with the 27th chapter, where it talks about. After every seven, after every seven year, after every seven years, it's called the year seven years. Every seven years was the year of what? Release. It was called Yahweh's, uh, uh, Yahweh's uh, uh, year release. That means that all creditors were required to release all debtors from what? Their debt. Every seven years, and every seven times seven was the year of Jubilee. Now we're coming up on a Jubilee. See. That's the reason why, since they have not abided by divine principles of Yahweh, uh, they have, uh, uh, Yahweh going to grab over the, the clans on you with this, and the whole doggone system is going to what? Crash. You see, as a result of this huge amount of debt that has built up over the years, that they should have, if they had been on these cycles, they would have never have gotten this point. It would have been nowhere near as bad as that. See, you could have, you know, so uh, I want you to give me that. Uh, so give me Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. And somebody give me where uh, Joseph was required. This is seven years of Joseph, where it was seven years of plenty, and there was seven years of uh, a famine. The seven, we told you that last week, that the seven years of plenty, uh, the seven, so we always do with these seven. This is seven times seven. That's all we do with the sevens. And just like uh, when uh, John, the last apostle, was alive, when he's out of the Isle of Pilots, he saw what? He saw the Son of Man, which is Yahshua Messiah, the world called Jesus Christ, walking in the midst of a seven branch going candlestick. He said, I am alive, and he of uh, evermore, and have keys to death and the grave. You know, and I can release you from hell or put you in hell, and I don't want to get you out. He said, say, uh, uh, the Pope, uh, uh, no party, no, no, no president of Pope Day can get you out, except that I, I release you. When it's seven means he's the one that's walking down through these what? Ages. And opening up and appointing people to open up and close ages out, and, uh, and appointing uh, various vessels to come in. As uh, we have Obama coming in, he's been elected on these cycles. Yes, and he was say, born on one too. See, he's been elected on these cycles. Now, Abraham Lincoln got elected in 18 what? Uh, 18, 1860, when he was nominated as a Republican to run, and he got, and he was elected that same year, 1860, with Abraham, and if you do, we'll come back to his question for about three minutes, 150 years later, would be 21. 
2010. See, and then you have somebody else coming in on these cycles. Look at what you, we show you what, the, what that is. Uh, 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 this, this here, um, this here is, uh, 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 this is three, right, this is three times 50. Which is three Pentecostals. And anytime you come on three, we'll show you what, the, what, what this means. Three times 50. These are all, these are all divine. Three times 50. Uh, four times 50. These are all divine calculations. We'll show you. He said, they are to what? I ain't testing by me. We'll show you how all this is all tied in. And you can be able to take from the divine numerology and understand what, what this is talking about. Uh, uh, so, uh, get me, uh, Isaiah, uh, whatever, Isaiah 46, 9 and 10, and then give me those scriptures. But the three, the three fifty really points to the three Pentecost, the Messiah was in his ministry. See, the Messiah was born June 6. He was baptized by John the Baptist at 30 years old. Mm -hmm. Because the priest had uh, began his ministry at what? 30. 30. He retired and he spent 20 years in his ministry. See, 20 years, and 20 years is four times what? Four right. times five, and, 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 and it's 20. So that's four Pentecostals. So the Messiah comes in, and see, so that means it's, uh, after you've been baptized, when he's 31, that's the first June 6th. 32 is the second June 6th, 33. So he spent what? Three June 6s in the flesh. His fourth June 6th, he was what? He was, he was already crucified, and the fourth June, June 6th was the day of what? Pentecost. So four Pentecostals is healing, and four Pentecostals is another principle of release. See, we'll talk about this. But these, these, this is why I uh, get these numbers, and they, and, they, and, they, and they fall over and over. People don't understand how they're tied into the scriptures and how to use them. And we're going to show you today how to use them for divine calculations. Okay, and uh, 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 we'll, we'll get to that in the scriptures, and then we run through this. Now, it's ironically that uh, you just got a news clip in here. That guy says here, what does that guy says? That, that uh, uh, there's 30 reasons why we should have a depression by 20 what? What is he? He's pretty close. We ain't gonna argue with that, you know? You know? See, but he don't, he don't have no reason why it's happening in 2010, 2011. See, because he don't have a divine calculation there to understand how these things constantly repeat themselves on these cycles. See, and few people understand it wasn't by the vision of Dr. Henry C. Kennedy. He came in and corrected a lot of the theologian uh, books that, had, that they, didn't, they didn't know how to, they had a few cycles, or some of the cycles were off now. And he made some correction, and once you make the correction, you can understand it. And you see the you know, repetition of the cycle that they repeat themselves over and over and over. There's a lack of understanding of these principles that's got, this, that's got the whole world in trouble. Okay, uh, read Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Now Solomon said that there's nothing you want 